Hi friends, Andrea here with a new video for HipKit Club. I am working on a mood board inspired layout today using the October 2021 Hip Kits. And from that picture that you saw, I'm taking the pumpkin as inspiration and I'm also was inspired by the paint chip picture that is on the left side so i'm going to be creating some dimensions some tech creating some texture with the pattern papers for this layout now the step that i'm working on right now ends up being not <laughs> necessary i'm gonna be covering half of the pattern paper with the with the trees with this pieces so i'm cutting a one and a half by four and a quarter inch strips of pattern paper and i'm going to be folding them in half and then placing them one on top of the other and right next to each other And again, the pattern paper that I'm placing at, on top of the 12 by 12 piece will end up being completely covered. So it is not necessary. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if it will end up showing. So that's why I placed it there. But again, you're more than welcome to skip that step. Now, since because of the way that I wanted to place those folded pieces of paper, I needed my picture to be a little bit bigger. So I can only print a four by six photos. So I decided to create some, to get some borders and make my photo bigger that way. Okay, and now it's just a matter before I start looking for other pieces of paper, for other pattern papers, I'm deciding or I'm trying to figure out if this is enough, if the picture is big enough already and how many. So in theory, because you're cutting your 12 by 12, you end up using the entire length of the page. So you know it's going to be all covered. The thing is, I wanted to make sure that I that I placed the photo in the right place or the right that I did it the right way. It might <laughs> I don't think it should be as difficult as I am making it look, but once I figure out how I wanted it and I figure out yeah all I need is eight pieces of, by, uh, of one and a half by four and a quarter inch. You fold them in half, you add double sided tape or glue on the ends to make sure that, that they stay in one place. And then it's just a matter of placing them correctly, again, with either some double sided tape or um, some glue and what I did is and you'll see that in just a moment you'll see how after I glue them to the page I ran the sewing machine just to make sure that every single piece stayed in place So now I'm placing them in kind of like rainbow order with all of the colors that I had.
these are the first ones I'm only using four of this placing two on one side and two on the other side and for the for these first ones I wasn't sure and I didn't even think of the running the page through the, the sewing machine so that's why you see adding super sticky double-sided tape making sure that everything was going to stay in place absolutely again not necessary And here I realized I needed to move my photo a little bit to the right. And now it is completely centered and it's just a matter to repeat the exact same process as many times as you need until you get to the bottom. You see here regular double sided tape. Yeah, this layer will also take only four strips of paper. And this was such a fun layout to, to work with. Another thing that you can do if you want to add even more texture and more dimension is run your every single strip that you're gonna use um, through the sewing machine and get some machine stitching details on the border of each one of the pieces that will also give the page even more texture than what what you see right now but i am so 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 happy with the way this turned out and it's the it reminded me of how not how easy but how fun it is having something having a starting point like the mood board i would have never thought of cutting and placing my pattern papers in this way to on a layout and trust me it's definitely not gonna be the last time but again it is it was because i thought of it because of the mood board. So now I am working, you can see the title up there and some tone on tone embellishments that I am gonna end up adding. The, I'm gonna add my journaling at the very bottom on that pink piece of pattern paper and again, this is not a page that you will have to add lots of embellishments just because the pattern paper is already doing a lot for you and depending on what patterns you end up playing with you might um, end up with lots of decorations already That thankful sticker ended up working as a subtitle. Then some chipboard stickers. There I played also with the puffy stickers. These are some die cuts. And the last element that I'm gonna end up adding to this layout is this wood veneer leaf. and this is it guys super easy and again it just came up because of the mood board the october kits are absolutely beautiful and i have to say i am completely in love with the way this turned so out don't forget to stop by the blog and the hip kit club facebook page and facebook group to see more inspiration from the team make sure 
that you grab your November kit. Remember to check all of the details and the discounts that you guys get as a subscriber for the add-on kits you'll have a 15% discount on each one of them. So please let me know if you have any questions on the layout that we worked on today. The HipKit Club subscription, the exclusive cup files, we are here to help you and answer all of those. The November kits are already available for purchase. So again, just let me know if there is anything I can do for you. This was Andrea for HipKit Club and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.